Hello ESGN Nation and welcome to another episode of the Buffalo Bills franchise as it's Monday night and we are getting ready for a big game here for both the Buffalo Bills and the Tennessee Titans who are coming in with a record with a 1-5 season so far. And this is a huge game for both teams. Of course, we would like to continue our record as we're currently going right now for our seventh game in a row, winning this season. And we're going to try to see if we can do that here today as we're currently 6-0 for the season. As for the Tennessee Titans right now, they're right now in a bit of a suck, quite a bit of a slump right now. They're 1-5 coming into this game. And they're currently on a four-game losing streak right now, dead last, as you see here in the AFC South. Currently on a four game losing streak and would like to turn things around here tonight as we're on a prime time television. So, as uh, we were saying, as I was saying there, for us, uh, the Buffalo Bills, uh, so far the defense right now, second in the league in points per game, uh, only giving up about 16, uh, about 16, 17 points a game. Uh, defense and pass yard is just about under, just under 220 yards a game and then also defensive rushing yardage uh, we're just under 60. Now uh, in the last game there uh, we said Ryan Tannehill was 21 of 30 and throwing for 277 yards. Now there's a rumor saying that uh, Willis will probably make a start here tonight uh, in this game. Now if Ryan Tannehill uh, like I said 277 yards in the last game that he had uh, two touchdowns and sacked once in that game. Played 70% of his passes. But we're going to go ahead and just say we're, we're going to kind of just look at this and figure, okay, both guys are kind of known for scrambling. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and try to contain this uh, QB, regardless of who it is, if it's Willis or if it's Tannehill. Hill. Now, King Henry, of course, 22 yards or 22 carries for 118 yards and uh, had a rushing touchdown. In their game uh, and last week and of course Benny Snell uh, helped out as well as he has seven carries or 21 yards uh, for the season as you take a look at some of King Henry's numbers right now for the season and both uh, both runners both running backs are going pretty great there uh, pretty decent for the Titans uh, of course the Titans are really known for their running game uh, with Henry so that'll be something that we'll definitely have to be watching out for I more concerned about that than I am about the uh, uh, cram, scram, <clears throat> excuse me, scrambling QBs in this matchup here this week. Uh, so we're hoping that we can uh, come out here, have a good game, make sure we can shut down the run, and of course uh, shut down other uh, aspects of the game as well as like Burks, uh, who had six catches for 83 yards and a touchdown. Robert Woods uh, last week uh, had 66 yards with five catches there. And, of course, the, nothing really special about their defenses. Like I said, they've been giving up quite a few points uh, here. Uh, they've almost given up almost uh, 20, um, almost 25 to 30 points a game to teams. So, yeah, they're really struggling. Now, as you see here, taking a look at our uh, national scout, uh, Carter Knight, and we're looking at some uh, guys here, of course, and we're trying to have him focus on a particular position and we kind of wanted him to work on the offensive uh, line, uh, mainly the offensive tackles, uh, because that's what we're looking for. Uh, it's one of our main concerns this season. Jalen Johnson, of course, uh, coming up to us and letting us know about his thoughts about the season so far, as you see. And uh, he would like to make a huge statement here against the Titans this week. So we'll see if we can hold the Titans under 100 yards passing or force three uh, three or more turnovers and get Jalen Johnson three or more interceptions, uh, forced fumbles, TFLs, and of course sacks as well. So, well, you know, we, I, some of that is pretty reasonable. I think we could do. Now, of course, uh, everyone is wondering if this is a trap game of some sort. And this is, you know, when you get this time of the season, you know, you start winning games and you haven't really lost and you've been uh, pre pretty much bulletproof. Um, you know, uh, they want to start talking about how can they, how can this team be brought down? The, you know, uh, we had perfection last season, and we haven't really lost a game yet. We, you know, we've had some close calls, but 
Uh, there you see struggling Cold City. The Titans are struggling right now. Uh, and they will have a negative five break tackle. And uh, there you see, just all we have to do is just try to beat them and avoid this trap game. So that's what they're pretty much the media is calling this one. As you see, Hunter Cannon is going to get a nice upgrade here for himself as well. As uh, we're working on his vertical threat here. And we're going to try to see if we can get him the ball as well. So we're getting close to opening up his hidden dev trait there. And of course, uh, Carl Basham Jr. as well, getting a nice upgrade there as a run stopper. As uh, we'll see here, nice job there from him. And of course, Tommy Doy, there you see, getting a nice upgrade as well. So, some nice upgrades there. Hopefully, you guys, uh, you know, you guys been saying you guys been wanting to see those types of things when it comes to uh, upgrades and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, we're trying to see if we can try to stop uh, the QB this week. And, of course, uh, try to slow down if we can, if it's possible. I don't know if it's possible, I should say, but try to see, see if we can slow down uh, King Henry. Now, uh, offensively, we want to try to move the ball uh, through the uh, on the ground as well for us as uh, Moss and Cook, of course, our two guys were, uh, were you know, been the in our backs now eventually at some point here i'm going to make a decision on who's going to be the back and i think right now of course uh, i think you guys pretty much know that it's probably going to be zach uh, moss for the most part here uh late as we go throughout the uh, you know remainder of the season but i haven't just haven't made a decision just quite yet um yeah i like some of moss's numbers but at the same time uh, cook has some pretty good speed as well so it's gonna be a tough decision for us and we'll have to see uh, what it comes down to. I don't know what I'm going to make the decision. I'm probably going to make it before week 10 uh, because whoever is uh, picked by week 10, that's pretty much who we're going to go and, uh, you know, pretty much ride or died with uh, before uh, I win this, uh, you know, throughout the rest of the season. So uh, we'll see here as the Titans have the ball here first. We'll see a first and 10 there from Henry. Gets a nice two yard carry. Third and five coming up. Crucial. Third down conversion here for the Titans as we'll see a pass there. That's going to be caught there. And that's going to be a first down for the Titans as they get now midfield. And a nice catch there from Burks. He gets his first catch of the day for 20 yards. And, of course, this is Monday Night Football, so that means the world is watching. As we'll see a handoff there to, again, Henry. And Henry just now taking off here. Breaks off a tackle there off of Johnson. And now Elm. Got to bring him down, and he's going to get taken down there inside the 10. And they're going to mark him at the five yard line. So, yeah, again, you know, King Henry is a guy that's just uh, one of those power runners that can just run downhill and just, you know, put uh, the hurt on you, especially if you're getting his way. And he will make sure you will uh, definitely pay for uh, causing him trouble as the freight train goes down the line here. As we take a look at some uh, stats here. And a nice run there for him as he has a huge first down. So first and goal coming up here for the Titans. Like I said, this running game is going to be their, pretty much their bread and butter. As uh, Henry will be stopped in the background, backfield there for a quick loss. And it will be a second and goal coming up for the Titans. Ball on the eight-yard line here as we're trying to see, figure out what we can do here. Open backfield. Four wide, Tannehill dropping back here, looking there, fires this one, and that's going to go to Henry, but Henry cannot hold on to it. Of course, Henry's not known for his receiving skills, but that is going to be a third and goal. Ball still on the eight-yard line, Tannehill drops back, and we'll see him throw a quick pass there, and that's going to be broken up there. Nice play there from our defense as we're forcing the Titans to go ahead and kick a field goal here to get their first points in the ball game. And that's going to be a lead it right now by three. So nice uh, drive here for the Titans. Unfortunately, just cannot get into the end zone there. Nice uh, stop there from uh, the bend or break defense. Seems like we're having right now in this uh, start of this game. Josh Allen, of course, 20 touchdowns, eight interceptions this season. We're trying to keep our interceptions down as best as we possibly can, but just seem doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. As we'll see a first and 10, and we'll see a nice run here from Moss as he gets down the field. And that's going to be a 14-yard carry for him as he gets a nice, uh, great first, uh, great run there to start off in the, for this game. 
Of course, yeah, with you know the idea of interceptions this season in this game, uh, of course, in Madden 23 is just ridiculous. Uh, I don't understand what the deal is with that. Hopefully, they will fix that in Madden 24. But uh, it is what it is, so we'll try to uh, deal with it here. As I have been, yeah, I am using Matt 10 sliders. If you're not familiar from Matt 10 sliders, definitely go check out the link down below here in the video, and you can check out his sliders. There's slider set here. As I've been kind of tweaking them uh, here and there on a lot of different things, and so far, uh, you know, I've been getting some great gameplay, obviously here as of late. Uh, as uh, we see a great catch there for another first down for the Bills. But yeah, I would love to try to get rid of the uh, interceptions issues that we've had in this game. Other than that, it's been uh, running pretty smoothly since then. As you see, Moss makes a nice uh, run there for another first down. Now 27 yards for him. Ball now on the Titans' 28-yard line. 5.30 left here in the first quarter. Titans lead this one by three. And Josh Allen in the backfield there with Moss. And Allen, of course, doing a great job here. Hands this one off there to the Moss. And Moss, I think, went through the wrong hole. But regardless, he still gets some positive yardage there on the drive. Now he's, we'll see a second and seven coming up. And now this time it's going to be Cook up the middle. And he is able to get the first down. So the Titans really having a tough time here stop, stop, trying to stop the run here up the middle. See now, ball in the 16-yard line. We got four wide, and of course Moss in the backfield there with Allen. Allen calling. Looks like it's going to be a pass situation as Allen makes some adjustments on the line, throwing up the middle there. That's going to be incomplete and intended there for Diggs, and he will of course not get the first down. Second and ten, ball on the 16. We'll see what Allen's going to do here again. Looks like it'll be another pass as he's going to try to adjust the line here, try and change some routes. Up the middle there. That's going to go to Diggs, and that's going to be in the end zone. Touchdown, Bills Mafia. As the Bills get on the board here for the first time today. And that's a great touchdown. And that is Diggs' uh, – what is that? That is his – looks like his six – yeah, looks like his sixth uh, receiving touchdown this season. Nice play as he's able to get on the board. And Bills Mafia going wild here as they take the lead right now. So momentarily we have a nice four-point lead. And see King Henry's numbers this season. Of course, they're back on the field here. As we'll see a first and ten ball in their own 22. Throw there to Hooper. As that'll be a catch there for him. That'll be a first down. Tanning Hill, of course, looking pretty good here. Pretty solid so far here with a couple of passes now. As he'll throw this one up there again. And that's going to go to Hooper again. Austin Hooper making a catch. First and 10 again. Ball on the 43. Pass there. Deep there. And that's going to go up. And that's going to be a, uh, another catch there for another first down. As our defense just having a real, real trouble right now. Trying to get a, uh, a, get a hand on the ball or trying to you know bat the ball away now against these receivers. Man in motion now for the Titans. They're looking at a first and ten now in Bills territory. And, of course, you see big King Henry making a nice run there for another first down. He is near now 60 yards for the game so far. And, of course, we kind of knew that was going to be the case here in today's game. Getting close to the two, two minutes here in the first quarter. We'll see Henry up the middle, but he will be stopped suddenly. And a nice stop there from the defense from what looks like O'Neal. And O'Neal looks like he's going to have to take a knee. Or, uh, well, no, I guess that was just him celebrating there. Third and eight. Don't get, don't get crazy about it, people. As we see up the middle there, that ball is going to be broken up. And it's going to force a fourth down now for the Tennessee Titans as Greenlaw makes a nice play. So we'll see if the Titans will uh, go for a field goal here. And that's exactly what they're going to go to try to do here. Try to put another three points, be down by one point. And the kick is up and it's no problem. It is up and it is good as the Titans take a lead here. Or, excuse me, the Titans trailing just now by a single point. We'll go now to a first and 10 here. Ball their own 25 yard line for the Titans, or for the Bills. 
Cook run up this one up the middle. That's a nice run there from Cook. As that'll be now, we'll see we looking at a third down. Trying to see if we convert on this third down ball there on their own 29 yard line. Allen making adjustments again. Looking down the field here, throws this one up there. That's gonna go to Davis. Davis has this one here, and Davis just has nothing but green grass here as he gets into the end zone there. Touchdown. Bills Mafia on the board again. As now he's got a touchdown here for himself, as that's gonna be his touchdown number six for him as well. As look at this great catch and a great run there for him. I want to say that's about a 50. Maybe close to, I don't know, I would imagine it's probably somewhere around a 65-yard run. A nice uh, throw there for him as they get that uh, another touchdown there. So 14-6 as we see the Titans back on the board or back on the field here. As they get another first down, ball in their own 46. Hand off there, and that's a nice stop there from Oliver as he makes a quick uh, tackle there on King Henry. As they now it's looking at a second and 11. Five seconds left here in the first quarter. Let's see if they'll snap the ball. Uh, uh, Tannum Hill here, throw this one there quickly, and they cannot get to the first down marker, but it'll be a third down once we get back into play. So after the first quarter, it's 14 to 6. Bill's looking really good right now with two great touchdown passes. Third and eight coming up. Tanning Hill here trying to get out of the backfield there. Tanning Hill's going to drop the football, but it's going to be picked up. That's a fumble and a great play there as Oliver gets the, recovers the fumble there. And the Bills will have now possession of the football here. Take a look at this. Great job. They'll have a bit of a short field here. As they are able to knock down Tannehill, now they'll be on the T Titans 34-yard line. Handoff now to Zach Moss. Zach Moss trying to come off the edge, but he's going to be met up there by a couple of Titans. As that's going to be a one-yard loss. It's going to put him back at the 35-yard line. Second down. Bill's trying to use this opportunity as best they possibly can here with a pretty short field here. And a ball snapped here. Moss going to try to go up the middle there, and he is going to run this one for a short gain. Third down. We'll see if we try to convert here. Worst case scenario, we'll, we'll just uh, we'll have to try to pick up three points here, but I'm sure they're going to try to do their best to get a little closer to the end zone. And Sharir gets the catch, and that's going to be a huge first down for the Bills. And there you see him. He's always he seems like he's been pretty clutch in those situations there. And that's what I want to see from these young upcoming wide receivers on the third down. Let's see what you can try to do. First and 10 now here, ball the 16 yard line. As uh, Allen now hands off to Moss, and Moss runs this one up the middle. That's going to be a uh, four yard carry. We'll see now, second and six. As now we'll see what they'll try to do. Looks like they're going to be in an eye formation, so it looks like possibly could be a run here. Hand off there to Moss. Moss goes on the outside, tries to bounce back in, but is uh, going to be stopped at the 10-yard line. That's one thing I like about Moss. He just, he has really good speed uh, when he when he get breaks out there in open field. He can just really take off. That's why I enjoyed using him more and more last season than I did Cook. Now, get me wrong, Cook's awesome. Let's see another first down there for. Moss, but it seems like Cook just uh, has a little stutter step uh, when we're trying to run with him. It don't matter if it's in up the middle or if it's on the outside. I don't get what the issue is with him, but hopefully we can. Uh, we have to. I guess we have to just utilize him a little bit more. As Moss now runs this one on the outside. That's gonna be a run. That's gonna be another touchdown for Bills Mafia. Touchdown for Zach Moss. That is his sixth rushing touchdown this season. And the Bills take a nice lead here. It's going to be 21 to 6. As Zach Moss finds his way into the end zone once again. And Bills Mafia likes what they see. Seven plays, 34 yards. And about almost three and a half minutes on that drive. That's what I love to see from our offense there. 
That's what we've been seeing so far all season long here. As we'll see now, Titans with the ball at their own 25. And oh, another fumble there. And this time it was from King Henry, but they do recover the football. Offensive lineman jumps all over that one. Second and five. Henry this time going to run this one here. Henry going to be trying to be smart, uh, trying to be uh, a little bit better holding on to that football there. It's now Tannehill here. Now we're trying to get out away from the defense here. He has to throw that one away as he had three Bills players right on top of him there. Pressure in the quarterback. That's what I like to see from our D-line. As we'll see, Tanning here throws this one there. He's going to throw this one. That's going to be off to the left, or excuse me, right hand side. And that's going to be just short of the first down. As we'll see, they we're looking at fourth and two. So they'll be punting the ball here, placing this at their own 18. Ball on the 18 yard line. First and 10. Moss now up the middle. And he'll make a nice uh, little carry there for us. Second down. Ball plays their own 22-yard line. Hand off this time to Cook. Cook cannot really get anything going here. I doubt he'll get a yard on that play. We'll see now third down. And let's see what they're going to try to do here. Try to at least try to get this ball near on the outside of the 30. Allen drops back in the pocket, throws this one up there. That's going to go to Howard as O.J. Howard gets the catch, and they cannot bring him down until two more men come down, come over and help out. That's a big first down for the Titan, or for the excuse me, for the Bills there, as they're now getting the ball close to midfield. First and ten coming up. As we'll see the play clock down to five. Play action here from Allen. Allen's going to throw this one to Hunter, Hunter Cannon. Cannon's going to try to run this one. And he'll get about two yards on that reception. That's going to put him at a 46-yard line with a second and eight. Play clock again running down here. They're taking all their time as they can down to two. Allen throwing this one up there. That's going to go to Hunter Cannon again. And he gets another great catch there at the 40. They're in Titans territory for another first down. Great job there as we'll now see what we try to do here as we're at the two-minute warning. 21-6 here in the first half. Allen th quickly throws to Hunter Cannon. Cannon trying to brush off, break, uh, breaks off two tackles before he is finally wrapped up by Street. And that's going to put him at the 38-yard line. Third and eight coming up. Got to get it this one inside the 30 to get the first down. Allen, of course, taking his time here. About a, a little over a minute left here as he gets sacked there. And that's going to be by Landry, the third, as that's going to put us now in a fourth down situation. So a 61-yard field goal attempt is coming up here as we have about 35 seconds left here. Can they get this kick here? This kick is up, but it's going to be short. And that is not what we were looking for there as Bash just could not put that one on the uprights there. Just short. I think if they had another maybe to, uh, three to five yards, they would have had that. It's now first and ten here for Tanning Hill as he throws this one. And that is going to be caught. And they're going to be stopped at the 42. They call a quick timeout. Two timeouts running left for the Titans. Second and two. Tanning Hill drops back there. Quick again, quickly throws this one there. And that's going to be another quick timeout. As they have two timeouts remaining as they get another first down. Bills are trying their best to keep him back here, but 20 seconds left, and they still have one timeout remaining. So, if worst, you know, worst of worst, they can still try to put three points on the board, as we'll see here, trying to wrap them up. And again, they'll call their final timeout now here in the first half. 21 6. They're going to go ahead and kick another field goal here, make it a 21 9. And so far, that's all we've seen for the Titans. It's field goal kicks here, and the field goal's up, and it is good. As they have not been in the end zone yet at all. They've been in the red zone quite a few times. Uh, at least two at least two times, I know, for, for sure. But now, uh, this is their third field goal attempt. As we'll see Cook here try to run this one out for the half. And that's going to be it here. As Cook now has five carries for 25 yards. So, honestly, first half, not too bad. Cannot complain. Josh Allen got two uh, passing touchdowns. And, of course, Moss... Uh, had a uh, nice uh, touchdown, rushing touchdown for us in the first half. 
and of course just gonna make us some slight adjustments for what we've been doing so far for the first half uh, but for the most part here uh, you know our main job is really try to neutralize um, you know King Henry in which we have we've you know had that bend but don't break kind of mentality in the red zone against them and we're gonna try to do the same thing again and but at some point here I mean, King Henry had that big run there just to start off there. That first, I think it was the first or that was the second or third play of the of the first drive there. I'm sure he has at least one more in him. So we're going to be prepared, at least trying to prepare ourselves for that. Because uh, a big play is going to eventually come to him at some point here. And he is going to eventually get into the end zone there. But we're going to try to do our best to try to stop that from happening. And so take a look there at the scores from uh earlier on uh there on a sunday so monday night football looking pretty good here for us we just gotta keep it up here and keep the uh, pace that we're on right now and just uh, get down the field on offense take our time most importantly and just uh, put up some scores here as best as we possibly can and put this ball game away as uh, you see Take a look at some uh, our focus again. And like I said, we're not going to too much uh, change our focus from the offense or defensive game plan that we started with here today. Uh, we're going to pretty much stay this at just at what we're doing and uh, just to make sure we can, uh, you know, keep uh, these guys right uh, where they're at right now, or at least make sure they don't try to outscore us here in this game. As McKenzie here runs this one out. McKenzie making another nice, oh, making a nice return here to the 43. Nice job there from him. It's getting some great field position here. That's what we like to see from our special teams. First and 10 here for Allen as we get the ball here to start off the second half. And we're going to see if this will pass being there. Deep there to Diggs, and he cannot get this one as the defender's right on, right on top of him that time. First or second and 10 coming up as Allen drops back. Looks down the field here, and that one's going to be picked off. Oh, bad read there from Allen, and that's going to be interception there for him. That's going to be interception number nine, as we'll see. Nice job there as the linebacker. He made a nice read there, and he didn't really have to do too much as uh, Cunningham right there makes the interception, and they have to bring him down. So now with our first drive being not successful here in the second half, We'll see what the Titans can do. As we'll see the ball in the 47, and there'll be a quick catch there for the uh, just short of the first down. So third and four now here, looking for, to see if they can try to convert on this third down. Tannehill again drops back, looks there to his, uh, up the middle, and finds a receiver, and that's going to be a catch there for the Titans as they get the first down. So nice job there, throwing that one to Phillips for the first. First and ten. We'll see a pass there. It's off to the right-hand side. And again, quickly there for another catch and another positive yardage there as they keep trying to move these chains. Man in motion now here for the Titans. As we'll see a handoff there to King Henry. King Henry going up the middle here. Henry breaking off of two tackles there before he's finally wrapped up. Brought down at the nine-yard line for a first and goal. So like I said, we got to watch out for Henry as he's starting to light up there with his X-Factor. Throw this one up there. That's going to be caught. As Tannehill looked like he was just looking for a prayer for that time. As he's pretty good, uh, had some pretty decent pressure there. As I see King Henry here, and he's going to get wrapped up. As he just could not find the right uh, hole to go through. As we'll see a third and goal coming up here for the Titans. Ball placed on our third, or on our three yard line. Hand off to King Henry there. The King Henry trying to get into the end zone there, but he is going to get in. That's going to be a touchdown. Like I said, King Henry getting in the end zone. It's first of today. I believe he is, uh, I think this is like his 10th or 11th of the season. As he's able to get in there. And nice job there from him as he's able to cross the plane there. And they'll say he is in. Titans on the board here now. First, like I said, first touchdown of the day for them. That's going to be now 21 16. So they're back in this ball game. Now it's our job to make sure they do not try to score any more. As, of course, we're trying to get on the board here ourselves here in the third quarter. So far, our first drive was not successful. Let's see if we can try to do a better job this time around. 
First and 10 coming up. Moss going to run this one up the middle as he breaks off a tackle and gets a nice first down. As he gets 10 on that play. Ball now at the 37-yard line. First and 10 coming up. Under seven minutes left here in the third quarter. And, of course, you know, we just... That uh, interception just kind of put us back here. So, see play action here. That one's getting it batted away. Thank goodness. No one could... No, no, no. Defender couldn't catch that one. So we're looking at a second and 10 coming up. All still at the 37 yard line. Allen drops back in the pocket, scrums off to the right hand side, looking down the field, throwing this one up as he has just had to throw this one away as pressure is being applied on him that time. Bills are trying to run the same play now for the third time here, third and 10. And then we'll see a pass there to Diggs, and Diggs is going to get the catch, and Diggs. Is pretty much gone. He is into the end zone there. Touchdown, Buffalo Bills. As he's in the touch in the end zone once again, his seventh receiving touchdown this season. What a play here from him as he gets wide open, gets that just enough space between him and his defender, and gets himself into the end zone once again. As right now he's our receiving touchdown leader this season. Nice job, and it makes it now 28 to 16. First and 10 here for the Titans as they're back on the field here once again. And the offense trying to get this uh, go offense going for themselves here with Henry as Henry is going to be stopped and uh, kind of stuck in the backfield there. A loss of two on the play. Nice tackle there from Dane Johnson. You see, uh, you see it looks like Cook and. Uh, Allen trying to get the fans fired up and trying to get the defense pumped up here. Second and ten, second and twelve now. Tanning Hill drops back here, throws this one up there. That's a beautiful play there, as that goes to I believe Woods there on the play, and that's a great first down there for the Titans. Titans looking to look, trying to move the ball here, both to the air and the ground. So far, look, being successful to the air. As Tanning Hill running this one here, and Tanning Hill is going to have to slide. Devoid the tackle there as he looks at now a second and five coming up. Ball placed now after at our 46 yard line and now we're trying to stop Henry again in the backfield and we're successful that time around again. Tannehill now drops back here and he gets hit as he threw that football there. And I think yeah, his bell was rung there pretty well there. It looks like uh, Von Miller on that play and they'll be forced to punt. First and 10 after the punt, but ball placed our own 27-yard line. Allen now has uh, hands off to Moss. Moss trying to get out of the backfield. He is going to get tangled up there for a short gain of two. Ball now placed at the 30-yard line. And we'll see a handoff now to Moss. Moss going to run this one out on the outside there, and he is going to try to get down to the first uh, to the sticks there, but cannot. He's going to be start just, just short of the first down. Third and one coming up here. We'll see probably a run up the middle here from Cook as Cook's going to run this one there. And Cook looks like he may have this one. Yes, he does. As he does get the first on that play. So he barely gets himself in there. Now we'll get to see what we can try to try to see what we can do here on the ball at the 38-yard line now with Cook again. And this time he's going to be uh, stuffed in the backfield there for a loss of a yard. Second and 11. Just almost two minutes left here in the third quarter. Hand off to Moss again. Moss going to go on the outside. Great blocking there for the offensive line. And Moss is going to be fine. Taken down there. But he does get the first down. Nice run there from him. Regardless of say. And that will, of course, get him. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. The first down there on the play. Ball 48-yard line. As Allen here draw, again drops back, looks, fires this one off to Parker, the rookie tight end, and he gets a great, a nice catch there. We haven't seen too much of Parker as he's uh, he started off very, you know, pretty hot there. He had a nice game against Miami back uh, the, uh, a couple weeks ago. The, I think it was like week three, week four. Uh, but since then, he's been kind of quiet there on the field here. We haven't been throwing to him too often. We might have to try to change that here soon. As we see a pass. That goes to Sharir. Sharir gets near the 20-yard line. That's a beautiful catch there. A beautiful throw there to him, and that's going to be another first down for Bills. Buffalo here now trying to 
get another touchdown here and try to put up a two possession lead here or excuse me a three possession lead as we'll see a nice run there from uh, cook there that's he gets this one inside the 10 and he'll be placed at the uh, somewhere around the eight yard line first and goal coming up 18 seconds left here in the third quarter Allen of course backfield there with cook and this is gonna be a quick pass play a shotgun draw up the middle and I believe he'll be just short there of any yardage as we in the third quarter is 28 to 16 numbers look pretty nice there for the Buffalo Bills as we'll start the fourth quarter off here with the ball in the six yard line here in Titans territory so see a run up the middle here from cook and cook again gets stopped as he cannot get up the middle. So now we're looking at a third and goal here. So you imagine this is probably a pass situation here. As we're trying to see if we can get this one in the end zone. And no, they're going to go ahead and with the run again. And they're going to try to get close, try to get maybe closer here to maybe kick a field goal. And that's going to be helpful. Uh, but uh, they end up, uh, no, they do not get the first. Actually, no, that was, I think it was fourth down there. So they don't, do not convert there. So we'll see the now the Titans there on the shadow of their own goalpost at the on their own seven, second and seven. I, mean, I think the coach was just a little too confident there, trying to go for it there on fourth down as we get to see a nice catch there. We'll see a third and two now coming up here. Titans trying to move the ball out of their out of their own uh, area here as we we'll see Henry there. Oh, gets hit pretty hard there. Does not lose the football at all. But he does get over 100 yards now for the day. Of course, rushing touchdown earlier. Puts them at their own 30. First and 10 coming up here for Tannehill. Tannehill throwing this one there, and Elman makes a nice tackle there. But unfortunately, it's going to be a first down for the Titans. I see another pass there, and this time Woods could not get to it. As Tannehill overthrows there. Third and 10 coming up. Ball plays at the 42. Tannehill here throws this one up there. That's going to be picked off by Jalen Johnson. This is what we've been looking for all game long for Jalen Johnson. He needs at least two more interceptions here. And we'll fulfill that goal that we had to meet here this uh, for this week's game. And see there, that one just get lofted up. I think uh, Tannehill might have been, that might have been a pass that he was under stress. You know, threw that one under uh, stress there. Had to get rid of it, and it just kind of waff waffled up in the air. Jalen Johnson did a great job reading this one. The right place at the right time, and able to intercept that. So first interception of the day there on Tannehill, as we'll see now, a first and 10. Ball plays at their own 43-yard line here for the Bills. As Bills quarterback Allen here drops back here. He'll drop the football there, and we'll recover it. That is a fumble as Simmons... Jeffrey Simmons makes a nice hit there. A nice, uh, nice job there of causing a fumble as he gets to the QB. And, oh, bad uh, bad blocking there for us. And now we're looking at a second and 24. Second and 24 here for the Bills. All plays their own 35. Allen looking here, looking for a pass of some sort here. Finds Howard, and he's going to get this catch. And it just... Going to get a nice 22-yard reception there. It's going to be a third and two coming up on that play. Third and two. Just under six minutes left here in this fourth and final quarter. So you hand off there to Cook. And Cook's trying to run this one there. But he unfortunately just cannot make it. As Cunningham's going to make a nice stop there. And it's going to be fourth in inches. So we'll see here as... Uh, See the punter come out here, and we'll try to see what he's going to do. Arza going to kick this one here, and he looks like he's going to try to make a coffin kick of some sort. And he, oh, nice play as he gets this one at the four-yard line. This is beautiful. And this is why you need great punters and special teams there to put those uh, nice uh, plays like that for you. So Titans have the ball there on the on their own four yard line. Hand off there to King Henry, and we try to make a stop as Element gets in there. Nice play there from him. As we'll see a second and eight coming up as Henry now playing a wide receiver role. Four now I got four wide, maybe possibly five. No, Henry's going back to the backfield there, trying to confuse the defense here. 
Defense not making any change. They're going to try to look solid. They're going to try to make a pass here to Hooper, and Hooper is going to get this catch as he has uh, 36 yards on five catches. Third and one coming up as the hand is went off there to Henry. Henry trying to get it. Oh, yeah, nice job there as he just shrugs off a man and gets that one yard that he needs for the first. As that was on uh, Johnson on that play, getting trucked. First and 10, Tanning Hill drops back, open ball at backfield. There you see Henry gets the catch there, now playing receiver. Makes it now a second and five coming up. Titans trying to get down the field here quickly. They have three minutes left, and of course, they still got a mountain to climb here. As see a quick pass, and that's going to go to, I believe, Phillips there for the catch, and that's going to be a first and 10 there for the Titans as they put the ball there on their own 41. First down. Tannehill drops back in the pocket, looking down the field. Looks there. That gets tipped around. Almost got picked off. But it's going to be an incomplete pass. It's going to be a second to 10. Second down. Tannehill again drops back in the pocket here, trying to put pressure on him, but can't get to him. But they'll throw this one. That'll be another first there for Phillips. Tannehill just doing a great job there, just dropping the pot back in the pocket and just uh, firing. And we got to gotta stop that for him. We don't want that anymore. As Tannehill throws this one there, and that's going to be another pass for a game of three. Defensive line just struggling right now, trying to rip through that uh, O-line. O-line staying pretty solid there for Tannehill. As we'll see now here, Woods gets the catch, and he'll get enough there for the first down as he moves the chains to the 28. Two-minute warning coming up here as the Titans now will be in their two-minute offense here. Let's we'll see what they can try to do here. Try to at least, uh, of course, try, they have to at least try to score here a touchdown and then try to get an onside kick. To even try to get back in this ball game here. As we'll see a pass. That's going to be just stopped right at the right at the 18-yard line, just short of the first. Second inch is coming up here for Tannehill. Again, throw this one off to, to Henry as he does get the first. They're at the 9-yard line of the Bills. Knocking on the door to try to get it to into the end zone. Tannehill open backfield, drops back, throws this one in there. That's going to be tipped away. Nice job there from our def one of our defenders there. Now second and goal coming up. Tannehill scrambles off to the right-hand side, fires this one on the far left-hand side, and that's going to be at the back of the end zone. Incomplete pass, third down. Tannehill again, drops back in the pocket, throws this one up there. That's going to be tipped away as Johnson gets there. Jalen Johnson again makes a nice play. Fourth and goal now here for Tannehill and the Titans as they're trying their last attempt here to do something here. And this one's going to go up the middle, and they'll probably they get into the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee Titans, as they are going to make this one now a 28-23 ball game. And, of course, the Bills are going to call a quick timeout. As they are trying to get their onside team here. Their hands uh, team out here. So we'll see if they can get the onside kick. They do. And Howard's going to slide there. And now we have the ball at their, their 41-yard line. First and 10. With a minute 17 left, Titans have all three timeouts remaining. We'll see if we can run this football here, force them to use their timeouts. And get out of the ball game, and that's exactly what we do. Is we go ahead and win this one here, 28-24, as the Titans again come up short this week. And Tennessee, yeah, just uh, cannot find a way to f finish games. You know, last week, uh, you know, uh, coming off their bye week, they lost to the T uh, Colts, 30-27 in that game there. And yeah, it's just not been a great, uh, great season for them. You know, the last time I think they had a winning game was back in week two. They won a game was back in week two. And yeah, yeah other than that, it's been they've just been losing a lot of close games. And they again lose another close one by five here. As you take a look at this final score, there, tough break for them. But hey, we keep things rolling here as we're now seven and zero for the season. And, yeah, we're looking forward to next week's game. Of course, uh, that'll be against the Carolina Panthers. We'll be on the road there for week nine. So now our focus is on them. As we take a look here, wrap up of this episode here, 166 yards there on the ground for us, 115 for uh, King Henry. 
as uh, we'll see passing yards there. Uh, not a lot of passing yards here this week, 200, uh, 258 yards. Uh, they had 278 yards. Uh, first downs, they had it's in their favor by just by one. And take a look there, total yards there, over 500 yards for us. Uh, of course, turnover-wise, uh, they had uh, we had one interception. They had two. Uh, they had interception and a fumble. Uh, so we're plus one in the turnover department. Uh, third down conversion, 66% as we were 6 of 9. They were 5 of 12. And, of course, for fourth down conversions, we both went for fourth down conversions, but the Titans were more successful in that situation as they were 1 for 1. As for red zone appearances, uh, not so good there for us. 2 of 6 in the red zone here today. We had two red zone touchdowns in the game. Josh Allen, not a bad day. Uh, Could have been better, but... Uh, he had three touchdowns there. He has now 23 touchdowns for the season. He was 12 of 19, 272 yards, and of course an interception as well in that game. Completed 63% of his passes. As Cook uh, in the running game there, uh, 18 of uh, 60, no touchdowns. Or excuse me, uh, 18 of 80, and no touchdowns. Moss, 14 of 86, and a touchdown. Again, unfortunately, we just cannot get one either one of those guys 100 yards. It's just been brutal. Diggs, two catches for 79 yards, two touchdowns. He has now a total of seven for the season. And Davis, uh, he had a reception for 71 yards and two, or excuse me, a touchdown for him. He has now six. And then defensively, uh, we'll look at some of the defensive numbers here. Fleming, the rookie, uh, middle linebacker, nine tackles. A fumble recovery. It'll be his second of the season. Jackson, a tackle. A tackle for loss. Jalen Johnson, seven tackles. Interception. Uh, Teron Jackson. Uh, excuse me. Teron uh, Johnson, excuse me. Uh, had uh, a tackle for loss. Uh, and then uh, Russo uh, had a... Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, four tackles. Ta- three tackles for loss. A sack and a forced fumble. Oliver, two tackles, two t- uh, two tackles for loss, and a fumble recovery. Now on the Titans, there you see 268 or 267, one touchdown, one interception, eight uh, 28 of uh, 28 of s- uh, 42. He completed 66 percent of his passes. Henry, 17 of one uh, of 110, a rushing touchdown, fumble, as well as eight broken tackles in that game. So. Not a bad day for King Henry, but unfortunately, he came up, uh, like I said, short of this game. Robert Woods, nine catches for 11 yards, no tutty. Uh, Burke, seven catches, 61 yards, and a tutty for him. Defensively, uh, Byron, there you see uh, 12 uh, tackles for him, two tackles for loss. And we'll take a look at some other numbers there as well. So, yeah, uh, not a not a bad game. Cannot complain. I mean, the only thing I you know I say I hate is interceptions. That's been kind of brutal on us. And like I said, it's just because the game is still acting. Uh, it has its moments where it's it, it will be um, it will be kind to me <laughs> when passing, and then other times it's just like yeah, we're just gonna make you throw. You know, you have to throw two picks in this game, uh, no matter what. So. I wouldn't be surprised if we're the interception leader uh, by time uh, the season ends. So uh, it's brutal. We're throwing a lot of, pe- we're getting a lot of touchdowns. I think we're, right now we're leading in touchdowns, but interceptions as well we're leading in. That's just not the position you want to lead yourself into if you're trying to get the uh, league MVP. Uh, because I believe right now, I think uh, in at least in voting wise, uh, look at well at least, at least looking at the numbers right now. I don't know if the Yearly uh, uh, awards are, uh, le- you know, the least the, the, the not the finalized awards, but the, the early look of everything. Uh, it looks like uh, uh, Russell Wilson is the favorite for the league MVP, even though they're not they right now don't have really a winning record. So yeah, <laughs> uh, but we'll see some upgrades here as well. Uh, check these out as 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 we're leaving here. Uh, but yeah, well, I'm really proud of the way our guys are playing right now, and uh, I hope things uh, keep going here. Now, at some point here in the season, I will let you guys know we're going to be changing things up. Uh, I will be uh, changing the series up a little bit. Well, uh, what, what I mean by that is we're going to be playing uh, some games. We'll be just playing offense, 
and some games will just be playing defense. So it, it, it'll all depend on uh, who we'll be facing, um, you know, that that week. Uh, but it probably won't happen until after week, uh, probably after week 10. So probably it'll be, it should be after the, somewhere after the Raiders uh, game. So that's coming up pretty quick here. Um, so. Uh, but as you take a look here, playing against Carolina, they're three and five right now, and Carolina trying to get themselves uh, back into uh, you know, the right way here. As uh, right now, I believe they're on a, they're also on a losing streak as well. They're on a four-game losing streak, and Christian McCaffrey, of course, always a huge threat. He's got four rushing touchdowns. He's got a little over uh, 700 yards there for the season so right now, and of course, we got to go against another tough. Uh, tough uh, running back, yeah, one of the uh, best in the league. So, one of the top five in the league right now. So, we'll have to see what we try to do against him. Uh, we'll probably uh, definitely, uh, you know, shop, stop and run and all that kind of stuff against him as well. Uh, but we'll see how things go. So, we'll be at Bank America Stadium coming up. It'll be a Sunday afternoon game. Uh, so, probably on uh, CBS. <laughs> but nonetheless, here. Uh, yeah, that'll be it for this episode. If you guys did, did enjoy uh, today's episode of the Buffalo Bills franchise, Bills Mafia, uh, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. I, I greatly appreciate it. It's been uh, a lot of getting a lot of views here as of late. And like I said, we'll continue this series on even when Madden 24 comes out because uh, I at least want to get a couple, at least another season or two of this series and of this franchise because uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying it and really enjoying putting this team together and, and what we've been doing so and of course we our mission is trying to you know try to you know try to reverse that curse that we had many years ago losing four straight super bowls now we're just trying to see if we can try to just win four <laughs> so we'll see how things go coming up uh as we move on here so thank you again thank you guys so much for watching uh hit that bell notification if you have to be new hit that subscribe button as well and don't forget to hit leave the like not to mention uh check us out on our social medias down below and of course, we do occasionally do live stream over on Twitch and of course also on Kick. And you can check those out as well as their links are down below in the description as well. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Love you, Bills Mafia. As always, keep yourselves healthy and I will see you all next time.